फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट एज आवर चेयरमैन रिमाइंडेड यू आवर नेबर्स आर ऑल द कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नाउ सो दैट वी कैन रिलेट आवर फॉरेन पॉलिसी जस्ट टू ए फ्यू कंट्रीज अराउंड अस बट हैव टू थिंक ऑफ प्रैक्टिकली एवरी कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड एंड टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन ऑल द पॉसिबल एरियाज ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट trade economic interest etc it has been recognized now that if there is a conflict on a big scale anywhere in the world it is apt to spread all over the world that is war has become indivisible and therefore peace is indivisible therefore our foreign policy can not limit itself to the nearby countries nevertheless the nearby countries always have a special interest in one another and india must inevitably think in terms of her relations with the countries bordering her by land and sea what are these countries if you start from the last pakistan i would also include afghanistan although it does not touch india's borders tibet and china nepal burma indonesia and ceylon in regard to pakistan the position has been a very peculiar one owing to the way pakistan was formed and india was divided and there have been not only all the upsets that you all know but something much deeper and that is a complete emotional upset of all the people in india and pakistan because of this it is a very difficult thing to deal with a psychological thing which cannot be dealt with superficially a year and a half or more has passed and there is no doubt at all that our relations have improved and are improving there is also no doubt at all in my mind that it is inevitable for india and pakistan to have close relations some time or other in the future i cannot state when this will take place but situated as we are with all our past we cannot really be just indifferent neighbors we can be either hostile to each other or very friendly to each other ultimately we can only be really very friendly whatever period of hostility may intervene in between because our interests are so closely interlinked as far as the other countries are concerned our relations with others are quite friendly take for instance afghanistan and our relations with afghanistan are exceedingly friendly and our relations with tibet nepal and all the neighboring countries are also very friendly if our neighboring countries have in a sense the first place in our minds then the second place goes to the other countries of asia with whom we are also fairly intimately connected now india is very curiously placed in asia and her history has been governed a great deal by the geographical factor plus other factors whichever problem in asia you may take up somehow or other india comes into the picture whether you think in terms of china or the middle east or south east asia india immediately comes into the picture 
it is so situated that because of past history traditions etc in regard to any major problem of a country or a group of countries of asia india has to be considered whether it is a problem of defense or trade or industry or economic policy india cannot be ignored she cannot be ignored because as i said her geographical position is a compelling reason she cannot be ignored also because of her actual or potential power and resources therefore whatever our own views may be by virtue of her practical position and other reason india is bound to play an important part in asia whether it is western asia or the far east to south east asia it so happens of course that even culturally speaking our bonds are very great with all these parts of asia whether it is western asia of the far east or south east asia and these bonds are very old and very persistent a very curious thing happened when roughly speaking british power came to india and british dominion was established here this was the reason why we were cut off from our neighboring countries of asia our contacts were then with england across the seas and while to some extent we struggled against that domination and resented those contacts nevertheless they were there and we saw the world more and more through that window the british window very few people went to the other asian countries from india and very few came here from there and even those few people from asia we met we met in europe and not in asia now in recent years that process has been reversed or is being reversed for a variety of reasons initially i suppose the one major factor was air travel air travel brought us immediately into close contact with our neighbors because if we went to europe we passed through baghdad and tehran and other places air travel is not the only factor there are also political reasons that are now bringing about these changes for future development stop